Hello Aries, welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, The Brown 53 Tarot, which is read for you as well. Thank you. going on hmm. <laughs> okay Aries way to start um this is fascinating um I'm laughing because of just how your response and your reaction to this is um there's clearly some sort of action you're taking very quickly to go after what it is you want what it is you desire I feel like you are getting some sort of recognition here, but what's fascinating and why I'm laughing is you get some sort of recognition, but immediately you're just like, and I don't care. And very quickly, it's almost like you start off with so much, you know, gung ho and fire and passion. And then it's just kind of like me very quickly. You're just, it's almost like someone just dumped a bucket of water on your fire. What happened? Oh, that's what happened. Okay. It's kind of like the equivalent of you get your paycheck after two weeks and you're kind of like, that's all I get. Even though, even though every little bit helps, you're, excuse me, you're ultimately saying like, yeah, it doesn't make up for the loss or doesn't make up for the difference. Um, I will say though that there are quite a bit of problems and issues here that you are wanting to face and be head on about. There's a lot of energy about determination to kind of push through, but even you're kind of like, either one, the paycheck isn't big enough, it's just not enough, or you're just no longer filling it what you do or what you're getting for what you do. Okay, so you're, yeah, you're showing me it's, it's what I do. I was like, okay. I see what you're saying, Aries. At the same time, you're also having that realization yourself. It's kind of like, if you're already having this realization, then what are you here for? That's what I'm kind of wondering. You're showing me, ultimately, something doesn't feel big enough, drastic enough, even possibly dramatic enough. Um, what's that, that that Disney movie called Epic or something? With, uh, I, believe, I believe who it was, Pitbull? He does the voiceover for one of the characters. Um... Yeah, that, that's interesting. You're, you're almost, it's, this equivalent is... Sorry. The, no worries. <laughs> There's a bear in the kitchen, bing the pots and pans. <laughs> I forget, that only works for what? Black bears, not brown bears and grizzlies? <laughs> you don't want to do it near a polar bear because they don't give a, you know what. Um, yeah, that's interesting, Aries. You're, you're kind of, how do I say this? You are justifying... You're, you're justifying for yourself. It's the equivalent of, it doesn't feel like it's enough. I don't care about this, but then it's like, you do care about it, but it's like, you're, you're a little bit back and forth around the fence as to it's like, which one are you, what, what, which one are you? What, what's, what's your true side here, Aries? Um, hmm. You're not too sure. One minute you say you don't care, the next minute you're kind of like saying you do care. All you do know is that maybe these problems and these issues or what's kind of your deciding factor. I could be a little bit more blunt today, but eh, it's all right. Just based off of what you're showing me, I'm like, you're like, which one is it for? Is it is it for the paycheck or is it for the recognition and the clout? Um, Cause you're making this ultimate decision of the paycheck, the money, the finances has issues of its own, but you're ultimately saying the image, the publicity, or the clout also has its problems and its issues. So I kind of feel like what you're doing here is you're weighing out certain things of what's making you, what's going to make you happy. It's almost like, what's going to make you happy, Aries? All the money in the world? All the publicity in the world? All the attention in the world? Which one's it going to be? Even you're kind of like, I don't know. But you're ultimately trying to come to that conclusion yourself, and I feel like ultimately what you're wanting to do 
is like you're you're wanting to kind of have that breakthrough about yourself and about your truth and that's what's interesting is there is a little bit of that um back and forthness and that resistance with yourself i feel like you're having a breakthrough here though it's just an energy of you kind of have to do the work you kind of have to do something to get there Because ultimately what you're saying is what you're doing now may help you to get to where you're trying to be. But ultimately along the along the way, you're kind of like, well, is this going to get me there? No, I don't care about that. Was well, this going to get me there? Mm, possibly. So what you're kind of saying is I'm using some type of limelight or some type of spotlight to try and work with that to get my future the way I want it to be. Because ultimately what you're saying is I don't care about the money. But then I kind of have to call bullish on that area because once again, you're kind of saying, but there's problems and there's issues about the money. You're playing shadow games. You're playing shadow games. You are having some sort of realization here that you are trying to move forward with. But ultimately, you're kind of like saying, I'm still under so much pressure that I have to take care of all this and everything is beginning to kind of ramp up. Remember, a teddy bear is still a bear. They got teeth. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my wife laughs. She's in the kitchen, cleaning. Yeah, yeah. You feel like the most, the best thing for you to kind of do is be done with something. And I feel like that's exactly what you're, what you're wanting to aim at here, Aries. And even though, like I said, it, it's an energy of, you're kind of like, Thank you for the job. Thank you for opportunity. Thank you for the paycheck. Thank you for what I have or I have not gotten from this still, but I'm going to choose to use whatever this momentum is to kind of further push me forward into some sort of new endeavor or chapter of my life. So what you're saying is this isn't the end of the line. This is just a stop or a point along that line for you to continue your path or your journey towards something or somewhere. Um, you're tired though. You're ultimately kind of showing me I'm tired. I'm tired of this. I'm pretty much done with this and I want to be done with it. And so I will be, and I have to move forward. Okay, nice. So you are having that realization of like, it's just not it. Something's just not cutting it. Ooh, interesting. And then all of a sudden you're kind of showing me, um, it's not about the money. It's not about the recognition or the intention. It is more so about wanting to stand up and fight for some sort of connection that you are involved in or relationship or possibly even marriage that you're in, okay? Um, this is kind of the equivalent of, I try to do a job, I try to get work, I got work, I got paid, I don't really care for anything much more about it. Job well done. Now it's time to spend, well, now it's time to spend some time and energy towards my family, towards my relationship, towards my commitment. Um, well, there's that with the lovers on top of the deck. So maybe, maybe not. Um, but I feel like, again, this does feel like some sort of financial endeavor. And you're just like, it's just not enough. But am I happy with it? Mm, I don't know. I still question that. But of course, if you are doing with anyone, you could be doing with a fire sign, a water sign, or let's see. I think that's about it. Goodbye.